Hello, this is Jane Goodall. The United Nations theme for Peace Day this year is to end racism. We've come a long way in many respects. The descendants of those who were once captured in Africa and sent to America and other countries to be sold as slaves are finally emancipated and in most countries have the right to vote. The evil regime of apartheid in South Africa has come to an end, as has colonialism around the world. Today, we honour those who have fought for these changes and for equality and justice for all. But we still have a very long way to go, and there are horrific tales of racial discrimination in many countries. I was fortunate my grandfather was a congregational minister, and in my family, we didn't relate to people based on the colour of their skin, their nationality, their culture or their religion, but as members of the human family. We all cry and laugh. We all bleed the same blood when we're hurt. I was made a United Nations Messenger of Peace in part because of the Jane Goodall Institute's humanitarian and environmental program for young people, Roots and Shoots. Its members now are of all ages, from kindergarten through university. I initiated the program in 1991, and it's now in 65 countries and growing. We bring members together from different countries and cultures and religions as often as we can, usually virtually, and they soon realise that they are part of the same human family, with the same hopes and fears. They are united in a desire to make this a better world for all people, animals and the environment. Since being made a UN messenger of peace, I've been sending a message to the world on the UN International Day of Peace every year. And always I emphasize the need to live in peace and harmony, not only with each other, but with the natural world. Which means we must alleviate poverty, for the poor will destroy their environment in order to survive. And we must each strive to live more sustainably. For if we continue to plunder the planet's finite resources in our desire for economic development, to acquire more wealth and more power, there will never be peace. Already there are conflicts over access to water, to fertile farmland and other resources. On this International Day of Peace, we find ourselves confronted not only by racism, but by the anger, hatred and violence created as a result of discrimination, poverty, unfair wages, political oppression and the growing gap between rich and poor. And hatred created by the brutal war in Ukraine and by armed conflict in many parts of the world. During World War II, many people felt hatred towards the people of Germany. Yet there were millions of Germans who disagreed with Nazi politics and many who risked their lives working in the resistance movement. I was a child and I hated and was afraid of Germans. But after the war, my mother let me go to live with the German family so that I could understand that Hitler's Nazis were not typical German people. In fact, some of my very best friends are Germans today. As a United Nations messenger of peace, what should my message be today? What can I say to the millions of Ukrainians suffering from the invasion of their land? Or to the millions of Russians who've also lost sons and husbands and brothers and relatives who hate the war as much as the Ukrainians? Of course, war can bring out the best in people. We see amazing acts of courage and self-sacrifice. Millions of people around the world are sending money and medicines and welcoming those who have fled the war. I remember a time in World War II when Britain was the only European country that hadn't been occupied by Nazi Germany. There seemed no hope for us. Yet Germany was defeated. There is always hope, not wishful thinking, but an inner strength that drives us to action to tackle the impossible. 
and that creates determination to survive, to overcome. It is in hope of ultimately creating a more peaceful world that drives and sustains those who are fighting the multitude of problems that we're facing today. Without hope, we fall into apathy and are doomed. Thank you.